Hello and welcome to the second episode on the Premiere Pro Beginner's Guide Tutorial Series. So in this episode we're going to be doing something that's slightly more advanced. We're going to be looking at the title feature within Premiere Pro. Now this will enable you to add shapes and text and a few features that you can put on top of your video. So to access this panel what we're going to do is either use the keyboard shortcut of Ctrl and T or we can head up over here and hit File new and title. Now for the video settings up here uh, on the new uh, panel it brings up we're going to leave these the same these are just your uh, video settings uh, that you have on the footage you dropped in. Uh, if you want to edit these and you're a bit more advanced user you can do so I have no problem with that uh, but if you're a beginner just leave these the same so for the name we're going to call this whatever you want so I'm going to use something that I'll remember uh, so I'm going to call it test uh, because I'll remember this so if we hit OK it'll bring up the title menu so the first thing we're going to do is add some text now I think it'll look quite nice if I add some uh, welcome to this video text at the start of our video. I know it look, doesn't but just just a tutorial so it doesn't matter if it's cheesy. Okay so if we hover over the area that we want to begin writing our text and click uh, we can start writing. So I'm going to put welcome to this video. Now if we uh, want to change the styling of this text because I think it looks a bit bland and boring at the moment we can do so. So if we highlight our text and then head up over here to the um, uh, font menu uh, we can also edit a bunch of other stuff but I'm just going to change the font so we have a whole list of fonts we can choose from let's pick the worst thing we have this looks amazing uh, let's get rid of that so we have now have parchment text which looks pretty cool so I'm just going to hit the selection tool just to get, get off of that now, um, so we have our text here. Uh, I think it looks about a place there, so I'm going to move it down to the middle. So if you hit our selection tool up there, and we can drag and drop it to where we want it to appear. So uh, I think that looks okay, but it could do with a bit more styling. So if we once again hit our text tool and highlight our text from the beginning to end we can also change how big the text looks so I want it to kind of like fill this area so if you uh, want to get it like that if you hover over the number here you'll get these two little arrows if you press and hold on the, on the uh, number you should be able to drag your mouse left and right and scale the text size so I think that looks okay and once again we're going to hit the selection tool and move it to where we want it to be now I kind of like to change the color of my text so I'm going to do that also so if we once again hit the type tool uh, select the text and then over here on this panel I'll explain what this does in a minute but we're just going to use this one particular feature on it with the color so this little box will, will indicate what color your text is at the moment uh, but we're going to change it so we're going to hit on that box and this brings up the color picker so we can select whatever color we want from here now um, if we press and hold we can choose one of these colors here we can drag it along and get a really nice and precise color now on the bottom you have your original color that it was before and you have your new color on the top now it's not you don't have to just pick black white and red you can also choose from any of these colors down here so if we click and hold on this bar here we can drag it up and down and get a whole array of um, colors so I'll make it purple uh, purple text, now actually make it black, let's make it black and just hit OK so um, I think that looks pretty good and if you want to add a bit more um, styling to it you can do that so if you once again highlight all our text uh, I'm going to explain what this panel does over here so we can change the opposite opacity so that's how sort of um, if it's see through or not you can change the position of it and the width and height but you can do that just using the selection tool you don't have to use that you can also adjust the rotation on it which is pretty cool 
Um, these features here, they're mostly the same as what's up here, so you can change um, the styling of it. Uh, there's, there's loads of different features up here. It's a little bit like Word, so you can have a little play around with these. It's not too hard. And um, that pretty much concludes this little box here, I think. Now, you'll also notice that there's some preset textiles down here. I don't particularly like these. I think they look a bit old-fashioned in my opinion, but if you like that kind of thing, you can use them. So that pretty much concludes uh, shapes. So that pretty much concludes um, text. So we're going to move on to shapes now. Now you can see some shapes are listed here. So we have a rectangle tool. We have a rounded corner rectangle tool. We have a lapse tool, line tool. You get the idea. These are all different kind of shapes you can use. Now I think it looked quite nice if we had a box around. Welcome to this video. So I'm going to hit the uh, rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a box around the uh, text. Now I don't like a black bland boring box so I'm going to change the background colour so if we hit the selection tool and select our box I'm going to scroll down and once again hit the colour picker. I'm once again going to hit the colour picker. So I think this looks quite nice in purple yeah so black text and purple box, they look pretty nice. So I've got my box ready, you can also play around with this, some of these settings here as well, but I would quite like to see my text on top of this box. Now the text hasn't actually gone away, if we move it up you can see the text is still there, except the box is in front of the text so we can't see it. So what we need to do is we need to move the box behind the text. So we can do this by right clicking on the box, uh, hovering over range and then send the box to the back. Now if we select the select tool again we can see that uh, we've got our text and we've got our box on the back. Um, now there's obviously lots more settings you can play around with, I don't really need to explain those, You can, you can can it's pretty self explanatory like I say and you can have a play around with those. So if we close down this box, uh, we can see that in our media panel, uh, the test text uh, thing has been imported here. So I would quite like this at the start of the video, like I said. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into the timeline on video track two. So like I said, you can import whatever. Um, so for example, webcam images, text, that kind of thing. So. I'd recommend importing that onto video track 2. Now as you can see the um, the text only lasts for a very short period of time. Now I want it to last for about 5 seconds or so. Now the problem is, is that I can't really see the um, can't really see the actual box itself uh, which lets me make it longer. Now there's uh, two ways you can uh, zoom into it. So you can either use these handles on the uh, bar here to make it bigger or smaller. Uh, that's one method of doing it. Or if you want to, you can also use the plus and minus uh, keys on your keyboard. Uh, so whichever method you prefer, you can use that. So um, we've imported the text here. Now I want to make this a little bit bigger. So if you remember in the previous video, I said that you could make this shorter or long. Uh, well, shorter using the uh, little arrow. Well, it actually works in the same way for making it longer as well. You can also drag it out um, as well. So, I, like I said, I wanted it about five seconds. So, let me just drag that out to five seconds. Come on. There we go. So, five seconds. And I'm going to zoom back out again by using the minus key. So, uh, let's just play our video and see what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, the text appears there, but I personally think this looks a little bit jagged because um, it it's, it just starts there and it just all of a sudden disappears at the end of the video. I think we need to have a bit of a smoother in and out on it. So to do this, we can add a transition. Now, uh, personally, I think that going up to the effects panel, going to transitions, selecting the one I want, and dragging it on that's quite a long process and I think quite early on you should learn how to use the shortcut 
uh, for transitions because it makes your life so much easier and it takes uh, so much less time to do your videos so I would recommend doing control uh, and D that's the transition shortcut and it'll add a transition at either end so if I scrub back to the start and press the play button as you can see it fades in and fades out again so that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions uh, or comments make sure to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to help you out